Hey guys, today we're going to be working on a 2000 MPV Mazda that uh, engine's not working pretty much and every time I turn it on it'll turn off a little bit sputter and it's looking like it's coughing but then it'll turn off and it will not turn on again so we got the fix right now so check it out. So the car would start but then as soon as it would get to normal temperature, it will just sputter and turn off, and then it will not turn on again. We were trying to plug in this, uh, the scanner on the o OBD, but uh, it wouldn't read with the computer. It wouldn't read it. It would just give an error. Uh, so that's when we thought, first thing first, the, the computer was going to be fried, probably, most likely. Uh, before we went, in, we went into that, we kind of started messing with the engine over there and see if we had a, a bunch of buildup, if any valve was stuck or anything. So we did kind of like a check up all up in the engine. So then, like I was saying, we started messing around over here. Uh, we were thinking one of the valves over here was going to be stuck open or something. Um, then also, I got this video right here showing whenever... Uh, we had it on and we were testing it checking it out over here so let's play that video right now that video happened uh, as you can see it would not be steady at all just sputtery and it would just turn off uh, you know we couldn't read the codes with the OBD there's also this uh, like old school way to do it right here but we didn't do that so here again we got the ECU we got the immobilizer right here and we got the key with the switch so we found these at the junkyard from a donor car right you cannot just go and get the computer and plug it plug it in it's not gonna turn on it's not gonna work you're gonna need everything from that same car especially the key also the key because there's an antenna right here there's a little antenna inside the key and they all communicate with each other right so as you can see in this picture, it shows how they all connect, they all talk to each other, all just three pieces. Um, and that's why it'll make the car and everything just turn on exactly like correctly. So what started this whole thing was connecting the OBD to get codes, but it was just giving us error, error code, no codes, just error. And so we thought, okay, the computer must be fried for sure. Uh, and then, then it causes the fuel injectors pretty much to do an inten intentional shutdown and therefore the engine just gonna be sputtery it's gonna not run good it's not even gonna run sometimes it won't turn on therefore this was the fix right so in the case that you're only able to find the computer and you want to replace just the computer you have to do a manual key programming to your old like the, your old key, the, the key that you've always had and you don't have to change this or this so you would just need this but then you have to do it manually and there's a way online and then you have to get like a code or something so we didn't do it that way so we didn't have to do it that way we just went another route we were able to find everything this whole set alright so after we got all those parts uh, we came over here, we installed it, the computer goes over there, like behind the uh, glove box. Immobilizer, it's somewhere underneath over here. And then um, for the switch and the key, you gotta, you know, take this off carefully, unplug it, install the new one.
So here it is now, turning on. And here it is. <laughs>